Hi there, uh, here's Alex from BC Designer. And in this video, I'm going to show how to uh, calculate the performance of uh, a scorecard. So in this case, it will be uh, uh, the performance of two indicators using the weights. Uh, in this case, will be calculated uh, weighted average performance of two indicators. So what, uh, what business context stands behind this idea? Uh, let me start with this uh, spreadsheet that I have here. Uh, if you want to know how we got to this column, to the, this performance column, I uh, recommend for you to uh, check out the previous video. I will share them in the description. Uh, so here we have several indicators, some current value, some scale, some performance uh, for these indicators. And uh, uh, now I have here two uh, metrics. Uh, one is social media activity uh, metric and another is response time metric. So I have calculate, calculated the performance for both of these metrics. And uh, now what I want to do, I want to calculate the performance of, uh, let's call it uh, customer uh, service, for example, customer service. Uh, I want to calculate it using, just to mark it with some color, using the performance of these two metrics. So one option that I have is to, to calculate uh, average performance. Yeah, so it's uh, actually probably the simplest way to do this. How to do this? We just uh, calculate the sum and divide it by uh, two. Yeah, so that's average average performance of these two. But it's not always the case. Why? Uh, for example, let's think about uh, customer service uh, that in this case, uh, have to respond uh, to some customer queries and have to publish something in social media. So for your opinion, what indicator is more important? How fast people respond or how many posts they do every month? Yeah, so for my opinion, I'm, I'm thinking about a particular business context. It's much more important to respond quickly to what people ask and to, you know, to write quickly new posts. Uh, so basically, uh, that's a logic that I want to, ex to express on this scorecard. That's, a, that's the logic that I want to express using the relative weight of this indicator. So I put here a new column weight and um, let's say that the importance of this indicator social media activities is the 30 percent and the importance of this uh, indicator response time is uh, 70 percent uh, as we have discussed in pre previous video uh, we converted these two indicators that are measured on this scale uh, using these measure units uh, using different measure units we have converted them into uh, indicators that we measure in percent. Yeah? We did uh, the normal normalization for these two metrics. That's what we discussed in the previous video. So now we're not comparing the number of posts and the number of hours. Uh, no, we use certain scale. We converted them into uh, into these percent values, we normalize them. So now we can actually uh, compare these two performance values. The only thing that we now want to uh, to calculate weighted average, weighted average performance. And in this case, it's actually very easy to do. Uh, what do we need to do? We need to multiply this performance value on the indicator weight plus this indicator on its performance weight. That's it. So this value is a weighted average. Yeah, how can, how can we double check it? Uh, first of all, let's uh, put here the equal weights. So the equal weights 
supposed to give out the same value and actually it's the same value, it's a little bit different uh, rounding, but here we have 73 actually, and here we have 73 as well. So here we have the same value. Uh, let's check it in a different way. If we put here a very low weight for this indicator and we put here a very high weight, uh, then we can expect that this weighted average value will be close to this uh, to this performance of the response time indicator. So I'm doing this to double check. And actually, yes, so uh, our weighted perform performance almost reached the performance of this indicator. And we can also do the opposite thing. We can try uh, putting here the biggest weight and here the lowest weight, and we see that the performance decreased to almost to the value of this of this metric. So this formula is a little bit simplified. Uh, and if you're looking for a specific for a detailed formula, uh, here we have a scorecard 101 article where we. Uh, discuss all this in detail, we explain how to um, use different scales, how to uh, calculate a normalized weight, how to do all these things. So if you want to do it, uh, if you want to learn more, I recommend for you to try this article. And uh, well, actually, if, if we're using the software, the BC Designer software, uh, all these calculations are much easier and much, well, actually we don't need to do them manually. So let's try it in the software as well. Uh, I will uh, create a new group that I will call customer service and I will just put there uh, the metrics that I have. Uh, okay, so one, the performance one is 80. Uh, 48, yes, that's correct. And another is 97, 90. yeah. So now the software by default, it calculated for me the uh, weighted average and let's double check if it's correct. Yes, I see the same figure here. Uh, and now we can introduce uh, what weights we used. We used weights 30 and 70. So I will put, I have here performance step, I will put here the weight 30 and in response time, I will put the weight 70. Okay, and here we have our figure, which is 82.94, well, actually 83. And that's exactly what we have calculated here in this column. Uh, What's the benefit of doing the calculation in the software? If we do, uh, for example, more levels here or more levels in a spreadsheet, you can still do the calculation. You still have the formula, but it will be a little bit more complicated to do this. And uh, also in uh, Excel and uh, spreadsheets, we need to make sure that the sum of this is uh, 100%. Yeah. In the software, you actually don't need to care about this too much because if you do some errors, the software will correct it for you. So we don't need to think about the normalization of the weight. Let me prove it for you. I will change the weight to 3% and I will change this weight to 7%. And the software understood what I mean. So it normalized the weight for me, it put it on the right scale. Yeah, so it actually normalized this value and this value, so it converted it to 30 to 70 in this way. Yeah, and same way we can uh, put here, let's say two and three. If I do it in a spreadsheet, obviously it will be an error, but here what is important is this relevant weight and the software understands how to convert it into the uh, scale, how to normalize it in, uh, in the right way. And uh, well, basically here, we just pick the right option if we want average or weighted average by default, or even we can pick other options as well. So that's it. Uh, that's how easy it is to uh, calculate the weight uh, using spreadsheet software. Uh, you can try to do this the same in a BC Designer. This uh, tool that I was using is BC Designer online, but you can try it in a free version of BC Designer. This uh, BC Designer Lite that is uh, absolutely free that you can download and 
play with all the same settings. It's for Windows. Uh, yeah, so basically that was a cloud-based tool. But the BC Designer Freeware is a tool for Windows. And uh, here, as you can see on the performance tab, you can specify your weight and the software will calculate for you uh, the uh, weighted average for, for the container, like I did it here for customer service. And uh, in this case, you can express uh, this business sense that we have just expressed that some of the indicators like social media activity in this case is less important compared to uh, another indicator in the same container. In this case, it was response time. So the formula, again, let me click here. For this case, it's actually very simple. Uh, we mul multiply the normalized value of indicators, the performance of indicator by its uh, weight in percent. And we summarize it with the uh, same multiplication of um, uh, normalized uh, value of this indicator is performance multiplied by its weight. And uh, well, keep in mind that the sum of these weights in the same level should be equal to 100. Otherwise, you, uh, you have to modify your for formula to uh, normalize indicator's weight first. Well, thank you for your attention. I hope I will cover other interesting topics in more videos.